Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Mary Kanu. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control and Prevention, NCDC, says it has responded to reports of diphtheria cases in Lagos and Kano states and is monitoring the situation in Oshun and Yubi states where cases are now being picked up. The NCDC disclosed this in a public health advisory signed by its Director General, Ifed Dayua Deity, for issued on Friday amidst the outbreak of the disease in the country. The agency said, in addition to clinically suspected cases, they have have been laboratory confirmed cases and it is working with state ministries of health and partners to enhance surveillance and response to the outbreak. Suspected armed headsmen have again attacked the community opposite the Abagana internally displaced persons camp in Mikadi, killing eight people. Eight other persons were wounded with three of them in critical condition. The special advisor to Governor Samuel Otum on security martyrs, Paul Hemba, who confirmed the attack, said the attack took place at about 9 p.m. on Thursday night and that women and children were among those killed. The other, the rescue operations while the police are underway and the search for survivors or more bodies is ongoing. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atika Bubaka, has condemned the alleged explosion at the All Progressives Congress campaign rally in River State, saying there should be no place for violence and anti-democratic demonstrations in the 2023 elections. Reacting to the news of the explosion, the PDP presidential candidate said he stands with the APC and families of those injured. Atika's message comes amid conflicting reports on the incident, which happened on first day. The United Nations Agency regulating the global aviation industry, the International Civil Aviation Organization, has issued new recommendations for countries on COVID-19 related requirements for air travel. According to the ICAO, in a new bulletin from its collaborative arrangement for the prevention and management of public health events in civil aviation, it said the guardians was designed to help countries maintain air connectivity. Organized labor has expressed shock over the increase in the price of petrol to 185 naira per litre, describing it as the last kick of a dying regime. The awkward review was made known to fuel marketers on Thursday as the government's directive of a new price should take immediate effect. The United States and some of its European allies have announced significant new arms donations to Ukraine, including armored vehicles and heavy weaponry ahead of a crucial meeting on bolstering the country's defenses nearly a year after Russia invaded. According to a statement by the U.S. Defense Department, the package of military support, which includes armored personnel carriers, air defense systems and tens of thousands of rockets and artillery rounds, was worth some $2.5 billion. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said it was a significant new security assistance package to help Ukraine continue to defend itself against Russia's brutal war. Its sports head coach of the Nigeria under-17 team, Ndukar Ugbade, has invited 48 players to camp in Abuja in preparation for this year's Africa under-17 Cup of Nations. In a statement about the media team of the Nigeria Football Federation, the Golden Eaglets will begin their preparations on Monday, with the invited players expected to resume camp uh, on Friday. The Africa under-17 Cup of Nations has been scheduled for Algeria from April 8th to 30th. That's the latest from the newsroom. Join us again for more updates. Thank you for watching.